Okay, so now that we've written all these all these terms here and kind of gotten very complicated, um, let's really focus on what these equations really mean, okay? There's there has to be some meaning to these equations. So let's talk about it. And this is and this is something that took me a lot of time to really understand and hone. Okay, so when we talk about um, let's talk let's start with this, right? the power of the ith bus, S i. So when we're talking about this particular part here, right, the apparent power of the ith bus, what do we actually mean? Well, that essentially means that it is the net real and reactive power entering the ith bus. So it is the net real and reactive power okay entering this ith bus so we know that you know if there was something uh if this you know bus one was connected to another bus then uh if power entered bus one uh from this other bus and then if power left bus one to bus two then the power entering minus the power leaving that's the power that we are calculating by this particular equation okay so it's the net real and reactive power that's entering or leaving or however you want to call it of the ith bus or bus one in our example okay so the other thing is um, we said that power of the ith bus is equal to this term here, right? The power generated. Now, uh, I didn't allude to this before, but now I'll address it here. Um, this term essentially means that if bus one, we had a generator on bus one, right? And so this generator is now pumping uh, power to bus one. That is accounted by this term here. And then if this bus one also had some sort of load, right? It had some sort of load, then this term here accounts for that. So what we're essentially saying is that PGI, okay? So we're not talking about this term here. So PGI. Now PGI and um, uh, right here, Q, QGI, okay? Q GI. Now PGI and QGI are the scheduled real and reactive power generated at the bus. So well, let me delete this. So PGI and QGI is this generator here. So if we had some sort of generator that was pumping power, then that is the scheduled real and reactive power that is generated at the bus. And then PLI, right? And QLI is equal to this this load that represents this load here. So if this load had some sort of um, uh, power that was consumed, and that power is broken up into two components, then that those two components would be these two terms here. The PLI and QLI is the scheduled power demand of the load bus. So it's the power demand that's already scheduled that we already know about. Uh, and it is represented by these two equations here. So remember, SI is, sem is the net real and reactive power that's entering this bus. It's everything that's going in minus everything that's coming out. So it's the net real and reactive power. So you, we would have to uh, calculate the net re real and reactive power of bus one. We would have to calculate the net real and reactive power at bus two and all of the buses in our system. We want to know the power entering into the bus, the power generated at the bus, the power uh, consumed, which is a load at the bus, and the power outputted at the bus. And, and all of these terms are combined to give us what we called a power flow. And that concludes this video tutorial. So that concludes uh, the final part of what we call the power flow equations in the power system. Now, again, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so by clicking on the bottom right corner of this screen. If you have any questions, please go ahead and ask them, but I request that you ask them by clicking on the forum link, the forum, 
on the bottom of this video tutorial URL that links to this forum. In this forum, you're able to ask very detailed question about PowerFlow and get a very intuitive understanding about what all of these voltages and currents actually mean.